Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. My, 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 my bad, Zion. My Zion. Yo, yo, my bad, bro. Zion Williamson, man. Uh, and of course, they've won now. But the controversy was that Charles Barkley and Shaq, and I guess Stephen A., uh, gave their opinion about Zion's weight when he lost to my Lakers. You're all right in the end season tournament, man. So shout out to the Lakers. You already know we got the thing done. You know what I mean? Laker Nation, we got it done. Bron, Bron. So Zion, a lot of people don't see New Orleans Pelicans games because I guess they don't have the NBA league pass for some reason. I don't understand that. I'm like, y'all niggas is rich. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have the league pass, but I got ways to watch. All right, shout out to uh, Crackstream. Dot IO. You already know what it is, man. You know how we get down. Uh front row sports. But look, man, um, so you got ways to watch it. All right, I get it. You guys, you, you pundits are busy. Charles Barkley like to go to sleep after his show. He put a lot of hours in. But at the same time, like, y'all should definitely be at a couple of Pelican games, if not, you know. So it's their first time seeing him, and they're just like, oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Now we know this, man. Zion got a couple of vices he's dealing with, man. A couple, you know, I need to pray for Zion right now, you know, because he, he's dealing with, you know, the stripper vices, all right? You know, he's dealing with the corn stars vices, and then he's dealing with that, that food. Now, you got three vices, bro. Three. Nigga, you got three vices. Get rid of all of them. Bad food, all right? Let's just say bad food. Get rid of all of them. Corn stars, all right? Definitely don't need that. All right? You can understand. Look, I'm going to tell you something right now. No. Strippers definitely don't need that. Like, this is all bad. And, and beignets. Corn stars, it's booty and beignets. It's all. And Stephen A said that, you know, people in New Orleans, the chefs in New Orleans get excited. The restaurant owners get excited when they see Zion come in the restaurant because they know that if they had a slow week, they tell Zion, come in on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and bring your ass here because Zion eats the table. Now, look, man, I'm from North Carolina. Zion from South Carolina, but I'm pretty sure he was raised like me. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to get up from the table until you finish your plate. In the great words of Jay-Z, my homie Strick said, finish your breakfast. All right. Now he's talking about Rod Strickland. You already know the great Rod Strickland, man. But look, you got to finish your breakfast. Now look, that wasn't about food per se. It was about being on the court, you know, and finishing the job. Get it done. Get that win and get that championship. Now Rod Strickland never got one, but I'm just saying that's neither here nor there. Maybe he was talking about a playoff game. Zion liked to finish that plate. Bring it to me. Bring me them beignets. Give me that shrimp etouffee. Give me all of that. You know, give me something out crawfish. So, Zion, man, you know, I know it's New Orleans. I've been to New Orleans. We all been to New Orleans. Maybe, hopefully, if not, I was only there for like two days. So, I didn't get to do everything. But I did have them beignets. All right, well, let me tell you something. When them beignets hit your lips, mm, it's hard to resist. So, I understand that, man. But look, you're a professional athlete. And, you know, we already know I'm a Duke guy. Duke could die, right? And I just want to see the best for my guy. I know, Zion, I was there when I seen in the bar in Atlanta, when I seen Zion do the 360. Man, I wasn't in person, but I just say I watched it at the bar. And I'm just saying, Zion, nigga, if I had your money, you a hundred millionaire, maybe after taxes, it's like 70 or 50. I don't know the tax rate in Louisiana. I think it's pretty good. It ain't like here in California and L.A., Nigga, I would have a chef. Here's my advice for Zion right now. Here's my advice for you, bro. You watching this right now. You know, your homeboy watching this. This is my advice, man. Zion, you know, this is Carolina business, y'all. Y'all stay out. Y'all already know we talking about Carolina business. Zion, you looking for somebody? I would hire a chef. You know, I would go to somebody in Le Cordon Blue. And they always have these little, these little things where they want the public to sample some of the student stuff. Right? OK, you can go in there and check that out or you can just wait till their graduation day, wait till their graduation day and to sit at Le Cordon Blue at the graduation and figure out who's good at healthy food. Uh, OK, you. All right, you going with me because look, we're trying to save money, man. I get it. You want to save your money, save your money. Get one of these motherfuckers from Le Cordon Blue. They just graduated. They looking for a job to work in a restaurant. But the first gig they get is being Zion's personal chef. You got it, bruh. You got it.
You got him for cheap. Word to the Clips. Re-up gang. You got it for cheap, bro. And you have them with you at your crib, okay? I right, have them there. Like, I don't know. You ain't got to move them in, but like, have them there making all of your meals. You go on the road, you bringing that motherfucker with you. The Le Cordon Blue Chef is coming with your ass. I don't give a damn. You got to put him on a spirit. But he coming to you with every, every location, every city you go to. 82 games. All right. I don't know how many away games y'all got, but guess what? At least about 40. Then your he's going. All right. And get somebody who ain't got no family either. You need somebody with no family, young kid, 24 years old, 23, ready to go, like train to go. TTG, Zion. You put him in a hotel and right, look, he ain't staying in a nice hotel you staying in. You put his ass up in damn uh, Red Roof Inn. You know what I'm saying? Put his ass up in Red Roof Inn. But Dylan, like, look, I'm ready to eat. Come on over. You know, let me know what I need to eat. All right, come, come fix something for me. You know, go, I don't know. Well, when well, you got to go to make a meal, but you just be here beside me. Play some 2K with me, you're going to be beside me. But your ass going to sleep at the Red Roof Inn. All right? And you ain't getting none of this. None of this action that I'm getting over here either in this city when I'm in Indiana. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting that either. Your ass is here to keep me fit. Another person Zion should have on the team is a, is a nutritionist. Now, I know the team got one. I know the team got a, I know the Pels got a nutritionist, but no, Zion, you need your own. You need somebody, you need to get to the, it's biochemical level, right? I, I, I went to Equinox. I went to Equinox, man. I had Equinox membership last year. We talked about this on the podcast for two months because I had a decent day job that, you know, paid me for two months. And then next thing you know, it, it ended. But look, that's neither here nor there. I said, you know what? I'm going to go to my dream gym. I'm going to go to Equinox. When you go to Equinox the first time, you meet with a trainer and the trainer is like, look, we're going to test your body, molecular chemistry. I was like, damn, I thought y'all were just going to, you know, do my fat percentage. They get down to the molecules and they do this little scan and then they give it to you. And you see like it, you see like your whole skeleton and then you see your body shape and they give you percentages of everything, you know. And, and I learned a lot about my body. I also learned when I went training with him that one day, he about damn killed me. I was like, damn, I'll be working out every day. And he about killed me. I was like, look, okay, I, I can't afford this session. I'm going to let you have Marlon Wayans over there. He can do it. But I can't afford this session. But what I learned is like, I learned a lot about body chemistry. And that's what I'm telling you, Zion. You need to have that. You need to have a scientist work on your body, your body molecular chemistry and say, look, this is where I need to weigh. And right now I weigh over here. I weigh over here. Sorry about the mic. I weigh over here. How do I get down here? And they're going to break it down, man, to a science. Because science is facts, not fiction. And look, man, I want to see you dunk, man. You know, I love seeing you dunk, man. But I want you to have less weight when you come down. Because as somebody who tore his ACL for a second time, balling in uh, LA Fitness, um, I can tell you, you know, I mean, it wasn't because of my weight, because I'm good. You know, I'm 174, 5'9", you know what I mean? Uh, I'm rocked up. But, you know, I don't know. It's my knee thing. So, look, man, um, Zion, that's what I want you to do, bro. That's what I want you to do. I want you to do it, man. That's what you do, man. And, you know, you take that person with you. You go on vacation, you take that person with you, man. But when you're a professional, that you got to be professional. You got to think professional. And guess what, man? All that delicious food we grew up in. I get it. You're from South Carolina. All right? You grew up in them Geechee boys. I get it. All right? You grew up on shrimp and grits. But when you're in the league, bro, you got to be, your body is your temple. LeBron James is 40. Really, truly, LeBron James is like 60 or 58 in basketball years. He's like 58 in basketball. That's the crazy thing. Now, look, I'm a Jordan fan. I like LeBron. I'm a Jordan fan. Jordan is the GOAT. But that is some crazy stuff. Like his basketball years 
is like 60 years old. And LeBron's out there. That's yum. LeBron's in better shape than you. Now, I am in better shape than people in my age. I look at them like, damn. God dang. Look at somebody your age. And normally you got to go down south. But if you go down south and you meet somebody at the bar, you meet a dude at the bar, bro. And like, yo, how old are you, man? Oh, man. Oh, damn. We the same age. You look at him like, God dang. Like barely all hung over looking like a pregnant, just hung over. Barely all sloppy. You know what I mean? All flabby and stuff. Small chest. You know, this is what I learned in Equinox. They said that this is the time to make muscles because it's not going to be easy to make muscles right now. So you got to make muscles. You got to make muscles. So, you kid, look at that, bro. Look at, look at that, bro. You're making the muscles. You got to make muscles. Because you ain't going to be able to make muscles at, at just as easy. That's why you think The Rock got all the roids and horse tranquilizers. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he working out, but he's using a lot of stuff, bro. You know what I mean? Zion, look, if you want to cheat, though, just go to Ozempic, man. Oh, oh, Ozempic. Get Ozempic, man. Fuck it. Get Ozempic, man. Slam down. Then throw down. Not at the table, though. <laughs> Not at that damn table, Zion. Don't throw down at that table. God dang it. 